In my recent 5-inch freestyle drone build video, I started off with this shot. This isn't really a new feature in Betaflight, but since I got quite a few messages about how to do it, I figured I should just make a quick video on setting up and using launch control. You can set this up on your 5-inch freestyle drone, or even smaller drones like a Tiny Hawk. So you can do this on any drone running Betaflight 4.0 or newer. I'm gonna set launch control up on my Basher drone and then we're gonna take it out and I'll show you how to use the launch control feature. So first thing you wanna do is connect your drone to Betaflight. Make sure that you're using 4.0 or newer. You'll know the version by up here. This is 4.2.9, so I'm good. If you're running 3.9, 3.8 or something, just update the firmware in your flight controller. Go over to the configuration tab. Here, we're gonna make sure that the accelerometer is enabled. I would be surprised if it wasn't already enabled. This should be enabled by default. Scroll down to arming, and we're gonna change the maximum arm angle to 180 degrees. Then we're gonna hit save. Next, we'll need to set up a switch that enables launch control mode. So go over to modes, uh, check that, and scroll down until you see launch control right here at the very bottom. So take your controller, and I'm gonna be setting this up on this switch right here so that when it's in the down position, it will be in launch control mode and then up is normal. Go over in beta flight and we'll, under launch control, add range, flick the switch, and that is now controlling launch control mode. Next, what we need to do is go under CLI. So we're gonna input some code, and basically I have this code right here, and this is what's gonna happen when you are in launch control mode. There are two values that you'll probably wanna change or at least play with, and that's the set launch trigger throttle percent value and the launch angle limit value. So the launch trigger throttle percent basically correlates to your controller. So if you have that set to 30, once you bring your throttle stick up to 30%, the drone will launch. So typically I'll have this at 50%. So once my throttle hits 50, the drone will take off. The launch angle limit percent is set at 15. And this basically just correlates with how harsh of an angle you can have on your drone before it stops. So it'll kind of top out at 15% and then it can't go any further. So normally I'll have this at 75 or so, and that'll make it so that I can have a much harsher angle to launch with. So I'm gonna change the launch trigger throttle percent to 50 because that's usually what I use. And set launch angle limit, I'm gonna set that to 75. These are the settings that I like for this drone. Like I said, use the one that I have down in the description and just kind of play with it as you go. So I'm gonna copy this. We'll go over to Betaflight, paste it in here, hit save, and we're all set. So let's take this outside and I'll show you guys how to use launch control. All right, so once you have your drone set up and ready to go, we're gonna make sure that we have launch control switched on. So I have a program to the switch. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna arm the drone and don't touch the throttle at all. All you're gonna do is touch the pitch and just pitch forward. So that's gonna make the drone tilt forward like this. So give it a little bit of pitch. And now get it to the angle that you want. So once you bring the throttle up to 30% or 50%, whatever you set it at, then it's gonna launch. So once you're flying, you don't have to worry about flipping this switch back and you're good to fly. So if this video helped you out, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment, and keep an eye out for more FPV videos.